Hey guys, the more stocks go down before NVIDIA's earnings report, the better I think they're going to do after their earnings report. Sometimes you just need to clear through a big event for stocks to, you know, for people to take a deep breath and then people buy the dip, okay? So think about this, guys. So on NVIDIA's earnings, do you think Jensen Wong is going to say that demand has gone down? No, if anything, demand is even more than supply now because remember, if there are ch uh, Blackwell chip delays, which we're hearing, through the pipeline, then that means demand is even higher than supply because they don't have the supply yet. And while that may affect them this quarter, the overall demand for AI, guys, is still in place. And when investors hear that and realize nothing's changed, they're going to buy these stocks back up after the report. So this is going to be one of those things where I think we got to clear through because there's a lot of negativity going into this report. People are scared. They're selling before it, which opens up an opportunity. I actually bought a tiny bit of NVIDIA. I do think it can go lower before dip buyers come in, you know, like I said, if they miss on anything on their earnings, that will probably be a flash dip. And then buyers will probably come in because long-term, they got a lot of growth drivers coming down the pipeline. Just remember that. But that those are my thoughts, guys. I will be ready. I'm already buying a little bit in these AI names because regardless of what NVIDIA stock price does, guys, after earnings, I think the other AI stocks can do well. I mean, aside from the ones, if you're worried about tariffs, I get those. Those are going to go into effect right next month. So the semiconductors may take a little bit longer to recover while the market digests that. But other AI names that are not associated with, you know, these tariffs, let's say AI software names that I've been talking about, right? These could bounce quicker. And I think the data center, the nuclear power names, right? These are going to bounce back because they're still going to need data centers. They're still going to need nuclear power to handle that energy. And maybe, right, they don't. Uh, companies don't need as many GPUs this first half of this year because of the Blackwell delays, but then that means more the second half. That's only going to ramp up NVIDIA sales then, and then they'll be getting more into the robotic stuff, right? And then there's AI software and services revenue, uh, autonomous, right? So just keep your eyes on the big picture. NVIDIA is going to be a good long-term hold. So I'm buying a little as this dips, okay, into my long-term portfolio. And if you do get that dip, that nice big dip right after their earnings report, I'd be a buyer of that, guys, okay? Because we're talking one of the best companies in the world. And even though they're having some issues, like I said, supposedly with overheating of Blackwell, I believe Jensen Wong overall is going to speak positively about AI, how, you know, deep seek and with now um, Alibaba spending more money investing, you know, in their uh, chat GPT, right? All this is going to need more GPUs. They're already saying out of China, right, that these H20 uh, chips, right, the ones that, NVIDIA is allowed to sell to China. You know, there's more and more demand needed for that. Now, Trump is talking about putting more curbs on, you know, chips. So that's why I'm saying the semiconductor names may take a little bit longer to recover while the market digests that. But other AI names not associated with the tariffs, I can see those bouncing nicely, guys. So I bought a bunch across the board this morning, but I'm still saving cash in case things go lower. Remember, I do a little at a time. And eventually, I think after NVIDIA's earnings, I believe we're going to be climbing out of this and people are going to wish they would have bought this dip right now.